think you could do in this. It's a brave man to come out and speak after that because it was a horror show in the first half, wasn't it, David? Of course. Uh, first of all, I have to take responsibility. Uh, I think I cost three points. I said already cost three points to, to my team today. Uh, I cannot concede the first goal like, like I concede. So, of course, after the team, we should react much better, but the first two goals, too easy. To beat Man United 4-0 um, is crazy. Uh, it's in some way unreal. Um, but when I look into what we do every single day, uh, the staff, the players try to improve things. It, it, it's not a surprise that we win today uh, because I know we are good um, but but 4-0 that's, that's that's big and I maybe it was not a 4-0 win uh, it was a deserved win but maybe not a 4-0 win I think we'll be hurting after the weekend and I'm sure we'll be hurting now even more so and uh, no it was nice to take advantage of the lack of confidence I guess a little bit uh, playing around the box and we went and pressed them really hard really high and uh, I made the most of it you knew it was going to be a big job. It's one of the biggest jobs in world football. Is it? Is it bigger than you thought it was going to be? Tougher than you thought it was going to be? Of course, I hoped uh, on a better start. And this start doesn't make it um, easier. Uh, but still, I have to believe uh, to, uh, to, to get it in. And because I've seen good things in the last period, uh, but the two games till now, I'm uh, disappointed. What a performance from Brentford. I mean, it's often a temptation, isn't it, to only f focus on the abject uh, nature, perhaps, of Manchester United's yeah. efforts. But let's uh, firstly give credit where it's due, Alan, and that's all to Brentford. Oh, Brentford were absolutely superb. But this is what happens with a well-run football club. Everyone is aligned on the same page. Good recruitment, players who want to be part of their club, hungry players, and that was proved exactly that today because their, their game plan was not to let Manchester United settle, put them under pressure and press them and do it as a team. And when, I'm, when I say everyone's on the same page, this is exactly what I mean. They all understood their roles, their jobs, what they had to do and to make Manchester United look very, very poor and that's been polite. Try to, uh, to close them and make them uh, kick it long, invite them in to make the mistakes because they know they're not good enough to do this. They know if they go after them and put them under pressure like that, everyone, they'll get something. And eventually they did. The throw in, Ronaldo loses the ball too easy, he's looking for the foul, it's never a foul. It's good play from Brentford. That's a howler from, uh, from David De Gea, it should never be in the back of the net. Maguire's pointing, look, once, twice, looking for options, no one's moving. Mm. Then all of a sudden, they're under pressure again, and he gives the foul away and they get a free kick, uh, dangerous in Brilliant a dangerous tactical area. Planning Fantastic, but they're saying, they've set in the trap. Look, everyone's marked and they're saying to Man United, play, please play into there because that's what we want you to do. And Man United just do that. As I said, Jensen, he knows what he wants to do. Close them down, win the ball, the ball's in the back of the net. What a clever finish. But, as I said, it's because everyone wants to do that. Everyone wants to work and everyone wants to, to, to do things right at, uh, at Brentford. <coughs> and they got the reward. It could have and should have been more. They were brilliant. And just look at that there. The number of times Brentford put them and under pressure and pressed them compared to Man United, 71 to 46. That is nowhere near good enough from a Man United team, but brilliant from Brentford. Absolutely fantastic. Well done to them. Yeah, well done indeed. Um, for Manchester United, um, new manager, same old, really, or even worse, possibly. Yeah, today was pathetic. Uh, I was absolutely flabbergasted watching this, and it was just the basics today to be honest I mean Brentford played well as Alan has said but here's this, just a, a basic throwing really and Fred Ye yeah, played a bit forward today but he's made a decision to go then allows the space for De Silva to get in that pocket of space and then yes we know it's a bad mistake from De Gea which happens in football but this one Martinez taking the, the goal kick there's got to go wide it doesn't happen then he touches in front of him, which only allows him to go forward. He sees Ericsson's under pressure. So kick it long. That, that is the only option to, to do there. Ericsson gets caught on the ball, sleeping, and it's a, mm. it's a nice finish by Jensen there. And Tony against Ericsson. Ten, Ten Hag said in his notes that it wasn't about tactics. That is tactical. Mm. And then who is going to win it out of me and Martinez? People asked, would his height be a problem? 
in that situation, it was Martinez again. Can he go five yards back just to give himself a comfort blanket? Doesn't happen. Maguire here can see Tony right in front of him there. And the other side, Shaw can see Mbwemo right in front of him. But yes, they're chasing the game. I understand that. But it's back to the, the basic. Maguire lets him run. And then, yes, it's a wonderful pass from Tony. But who wants it more? Mm -hmm. It was Mbwemo. Yeah. And that was just the story of the first half. Mm -hmm. Arguing, no one knowing what the, the jobs are supposed to be doing yeah. and not sticking to basics. He's got yeah. a massive job on his yeah. hands, he really has. Yeah. Uh, you talked about the tactics as well, and it was he played Fred in kind of forward midfield role and Ericsson hold, like, as a holding player. It was Yeah, so last week yeah. he played uh, Ericsson yeah. false nine. Yeah. And then today he yeah. played him just in front of the back four. Mm. It wasn't really working. Yeah. Fred couldn't get on the ball, made three substitutions at half-time to change it up. Yeah. But it's just all bleak. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's two games, two defeats. Uh, their worst start for 100 years. Mm. Uh, I remember that start that season. Uh, <laughs> seven straight away losses. It's a mess. Oh, it's an absolute mess, yeah. It's years of failure, years of mismanagement, um, lack of leadership. The recruitment's been terrible You, you said times. something in your early analysis. Yeah. You said... Uh, the difference in the hunger between one set of players and the other. Yeah. Uh, you're saying that the Manchester United players are not hungry? You could play... They don't... Well, is that is that the best, that they can perform last weekend and this weekend? I'm sure it's not. Absolutely not, no. And it's... Uh, let, let's use this week as an example for Manchester United. I'm convinced that someone from Man United leaked the story linking them with Arnautovic, just to see what the, re the reaction was. The reaction was that bad, they then had to pull out. I'm pretty convinced that that was... But I, I think that sort of sums up where Manchester United mm. are. They are, they're in a mess and it's going to take time. Ha it's going to take an unbelievable yeah. amount of money to get things yeah. right inside the football club and in terms of the right uh, yeah. recruitment. And it's going to take a lot of patience from the Manchester United yeah. fans because where they are now to where they want to be, Miles away. Miles away. But Miles how how did they start to address it? Because there's a long way to go. Recruitment. Yeah. Um, recruitment, recruitment, recruitment. Yeah, recruit, that's yeah. what it has to be. Yeah. See how other people are doing it, the Liverpools, the Brightons, mm. and get the job done. Okay.